further. A Chico State accounting professor is alleging fraud, cheating, and overall corruption against the student business group Students in Free Enterprise. As Action News Now reporter Brian Johnson found out, the publicity for Curtis DeBerg began with a Salon.com interview, followed by a clip on Late Night with Seth Meyers. Brian? Alan, the title of Dr. DeBerg's new memoir is How High Is Up? But the real question may be, how deep does this go? In this week's news, a professor at Cal State Chico is claiming that Walmart uses cult-like student business groups to find people for their management ranks. In next week's news, a professor at Cal State Chico says, all hail Walmart. Walmart is the one true way. This is the real Chico State professor, Dr. Curtis DeBerg. As you can see, his eyes aren't glazed over. In fact, he sees things quite clearly now. It is an organization that indoctrinates students into the Walmart culture. He's talking about SIFE, now known as Inactus, which describes themselves as a community of student, academic, and business leaders. DeBerg was a Sam Walton Fellow for 12 years, ending in 2005. Then I fell, and I would fell uh, like a thud. This organization was almost like a Christian-based Walmart worshiping organization, and that's where Seth Meyers got his take on the, um, the cult-like organization. He says events and competitions held in Kansas City began with prayer and were sponsored by the Kauffman Center for Entrepreneurship. They gave SIFE $50,000 to conduct the special competition, but SIFE would only hand out about $12,000 in prize money. They would pocket thirty-eight grand for overhead. That was the fraud. He also says there was cheating. I was able to prove that four universities won prize money for a special competition they hadn't entered. This is all detailed in his new book, slated to be released this month. DeBerg says his time with SIFE changed the arc of his career for the best and for the worst. Now he's on a mission to expose the worst in the organization. Walmart values SIFE to get its best future employees here, and they have a huge vested interest. And they don't publicize it very much because they probably know someday some guy's going to talk about what they really are, at least from my perspective. And I guess the time is now. You're that guy. I'm, the, yeah, I'm that guy. I was able to get a written response from an Enactus spokesperson today, and this is a little excerpt. It is clear to us that Kurt harbors some animosity towards us, but there is no merit to the accusations he is making as part of the publicity efforts surrounding his forthcoming book. Now, you can see the full statement on ActionNewsNow.com. For Action News Now, I'm Brian Johnson.